Hello, guys and gals. All right, uh, I'm going to go over some more of my findings. Oh, yeah, still a little bit. Um, on this and, and, and some of the observations I've had on this uh, on this uh, capacitor, this, this plasma globe capacitor, vacuum chamber capacitor, resonant cavity. I don't I, You can name it, all kinds of stuff. Uh, one finding is you could take these grounds off and it will still work sort of, not as well. Um, uh, the problem arises is that this is actually a virtual ground to the secondary coil of the Tesla coil and so that it will it will really build up and be a high resistance and and it can has the potential to ruin your Tesla coil so I don't recommend it at least leave one of the grounds on but it, it doesn't uh, it doesn't work as well that way. Uh, another finding is uh, it's kind of like a LC cert an LC circuit a little bit. It's like a, it's like a, uh, I mean, in a way, in a way, it, 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 it builds up charge, but it's more like an electric influence type of charge, static charge, or triboelectric, tribo you know, static electricity type of idea, or even like a, a TV, uh, what would that be, it's uh, CRV, or T, you know, a TV, a television tube, or, um, or again, an electrical influence type of s situation. So, I'm going to show you this real quick. Uh, the first first thing I'm going to show you is just uh, that it's almost like a lightning bolt, too. If I keep it at a certain distance, it, it won't penetrate the dielectric very well. And so, it, it really gives a nice snap and gives a nice long arc, too. It's about a foot-long spark, which is pretty impressive for just a 5 kV power source. But uh, I'll show that right now. Here we go. the best way to charge it too is with that snap uh, which I, I failed to mention now I'm going to show you what happens when you just touch the top load and recir recirculate it back through the Tesla coil now if you were here you would say that is cool because two reasons one it, it oscillates the frequency so ridiculously high that it turns into a plasmoid it's like a plasma ball a ball, ball lightning ball plasma and two, because you actually see plasma on the outside, and it's really freaking cool looking. Um, um, see, it's still charged up and stuff like that. Now, this is the uh, the fun but not so fun part. It's like uh, pushing your kid, or you know, your kid going down the slide, and you're grounded. You catch your kid at the bottom of the slide. Same kind of feeling. Uh, if this gets any bigger. I'm not going to be able to do this, but. Right now, oh, God, it's actually more powerful than that. I'm going to say it's more powerful than that because it penetrates penetrates your hand a little bit, but and it happens a couple of times. Okay, there we go. It's gone. So uh, that was some more findings I have, more experiment. And, and another thing is that it builds up. The charge builds up uh, over and over and really... Oof, got it. See, there. It, it, I just a second ago didn't give me a good shock, and there it just gave me another good shock. So, also an interesting thing. Um, and I have theories on all this stuff, but again, I'd rather just experiment and and uh, show the findings that way. And um, and uh, you know, the the proof's in the pudding, I guess. You know, I, I don't, I don't want to. I just, I don't want to make speculate on things that I aren't for. I'm not for sure of. I'd rather break everything down and you know use the scientific scientific method of process of elimination and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna go over this one more time though, just because I'm gonna show you a close up of this and see if I can get a good good shot of it. So. <laughs> Glowing there, have a slight glow to it. So let's see if we can get a good, good shot of this. And that one wasn't as good as the last one. Still, still pretty cool, but you can really see the fractals in that one. Um, still pretty cool. Okay. 
and then I'll show the globe when I'm touching it. Oh God! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, for about three times, it's not so bad. But then, if I let it sit, I <laughs> touch it again, it's gonna hurt. All for the name of science, right? <laughs> All right, and then I want to go over one last thing real quickly, and that is my Leyden jar singing capacitors. Now, there's I'll call them a semi singing capacitors because I don't have full Rochelle salts in them. I wanted to, but I didn't have enough Rochelle salts, and I don't have the time to make my own Rochelle salts, which is taking sodium bicarbonate, taking the bi out by adding cream of tartar, uh, and then it creates um, Rochelle salt, which is sodium tartrate, I believe is what it's called. So these are actually a one to three ratio of Rochelle salt. Uh, obviously, they have water, and then uh, you have your Rochelle salts, your, your uh, Epsom salts, or uh, magnesium sulfate, and you have your your uh, sodium chloride, uh, yeah, sodium chloride, or sodium iodide, table salt, it's table salt, and uh, those three are in there, and it creates these capacitors, which have been getting stronger and stronger the more I use them, which is pretty cool, uh, my hope was that as the water evaporates and stuff like that, oh wow, almost dropped the plasma, plasma globe, as the water evaporates, uh, Hopefully, it'll develop some crystals in it and create an even stronger effect. I don't know. It's just, again, it's just a theory and something I'm also experimenting at the same time. So it's kind of a double experimentation. And then sharing it with everyone. And when I say I, I mean we. Whenever I say I, I really mean we. I'm just, I'm talking, I'm talking to myself, right? So it'd be, it'd be strange if I said we're talking to ourselves and then I start to sound like I'm crazy. All right, on that note, <laughs> uh, I'd like to bid you farewell and thank you for watching the video.